Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and you join me once again here in Definitely Not Fried Chicken, overlooking our production facility here. We're producing a nice variety of cannabises the basic, the toasted, the Amazonian, and also a little bit of cloudy mess. We've moved on a few days since you were last with me. So we are currently on day 42, we've just turned into day 42, and I've got over 68,000 in the bank, which is all very nice. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to pause this here, because I, a couple of things I just want to sort of highlight for you before we get into the gameplay, where I have to start making actual decisions. We have, a, I think I did this after the last episode recorded. Of course, I could go back and check that recording, but I'm far too idle and no, I'm far too busy. That's Yes, I'm busy. Yes, I'm being very busy. I'm <laughs> doing other stuff uh, to check this. But I have bought another little parcel of land uh, in this park here. So what we have is I've extended this. Uh, I bought this little parcel here so I could make my meth production facility a bit bigger and also get these corridors in, which makes me think I might well have done this before the last recording or during it, one or the other. Now, it does mean I've now got up to 10 staff I can employ. I'm only employing nine at the moment, but that's okay, I think. So I'm not employing a security guard. And I think we've got enough to cope with the production. Now, one thing I have done here, and also as we'll see in the donut shop, is I'm starting to specialise my staff. I'm, I'm putting them into definitive roles within the business. So we've got a number of people. It'd be nice if you could sort this. So all my cannabis workers, all my meth workers, all my ca my cocaine workers and so on, all my whatever people I want. Cause I, they've been, I see a table like this and I immediately think, oh, column headings, I'll click that and it'll sort it. It doesn't, no. If you're putting a table of stuff up, you need to make it sortable. That's a definite, a def, definite statement about any UI or any presentation. Anyway, I'm getting off on one of my little pet pet hobby horses, <laughs> if you will. So no, so we've got. Uh, I'm I'm demarking Mariah and Catherine and Hannah as the cannabis workers. Uh, I, though I have limited Jackson here. To doing just the basic and the toasted because that's what most well that's the most common cannabis I'm, I'm producing and I was it's looking as if the, the toasted isn't being um, far isn't being taken out and dried uh, it's, 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 I'm trying to I think of the word reaped but I'm not sure if that's the right word there plucked <laughs> I don't know <laughs> dug up whichever pulled out of the bed it's not being that it's not having that done to it as often as the other types of cannabis for some reason not quite sure as you can see they are clearly ready to be plucked at this point uh, two of which are in excellent condition excellent grade uh, that's because I've been paying more attention to the components of what makes a product good we'll get onto that in a bit more so yeah we've, we've got people doing just cannabis I've got people just doing the cloudy mess and the cloudy meth people because they have to wear this fancy uh, outfit this fancy equipment they're not going out to the cars to pack them away they're just doing the the creation and the boxing and putting onto the storage shelves uh, what I've also done and talking of the uh, paying attention to what makes good product we've seen this well all the way through but you see here, each piece of equipment shows you what quality of produce it can create. So on the, what have we got here? Yeah, we've got the toasted here. And we can see here, it needs both heat and light. And I'm producing, I'm giving it heat and light, but not quite enough light to make it excellent quality. So it's only going up to two star good quality. Whereas I put in some more lights and some more heaters here, so that this stuff, is actually in perfect it's got the perfect growing environment of heat and light so that is going to be excellent so I'm familiar with that and, and on the sort of manufacturing equipment like for the meth uh, the cloudy meth here I've also put in a second bench here just in case I can get more production out of my my people here but it also applies to other bits of the process the sort of manufacturing chain I hadn't noticed 
and it actually applies to things as simple as these drying racks. And if you actually have it kept warm while it's being dried, it actually makes it better quality. Yes, so I split these two up. They were close together. They were next to each other previously. I have now bought a heating unit and put that between these two drying racks. So I'm now actually getting excellent quality cloudy meth out of my little facility here, which means on the dispatch map here, I can now sell excellent quality cloudy meth. And that should obviously be more profitable for me uh, going, going out. Now, in the last episode, I added a, added the, th the fourth car back. I had gone down to three cars for a while when I created the, the laundrette. Or when we got cars, in fact, because I didn't need as many cars as I needed mopeds, because cars carry more produce. And I put a fourth car back in, and I'm thinking I might not need that, to be honest. And the reason for that is that my legitimate outlets, my fronts, do appear to be getting different supply from my two cars. So if we have a quick look at those outlets. So my donut shop here, I mean, it's I, it's st stocking huge quantities of cannabis. It is ridiculous. I don't need that there. In fact, I had to buy more storage shelves because there's just so much being, being stocked here because we don't have quite the footfall in this business that we have in the laundrette. So we're getting here at seven, eight customers per day or whatever buying stuff. So it's not getting quite enough people coming in to buy the um, the under the counter produce compared to the laundrette, which is getting a, a, an average of 11 or 12 people. And as you can see here, it's running out of stuff. So what I was doing, you see, on the dispatch was I was sending two cars to each of these by legitimate outlets and another third car sending toasted to hotline orders and that seemed to be taking a, a, a lot of orders away from my legitimate outlets. Well, that, that's how I was reading it. The other issue we've got is that it seems to be if we go back to the factory I think I mentioned this in the last episode, is the sequence of loading up your vehicles is, ah, isn't is right. Remembering the game is still very much in early access. It's only been in early access for a few months now. So we've got a while to go before they, they complete this for the full release version. And what seems to be happening is that the car in this leftmost shed, this garage, this park, this parking spot, is always loaded first, regardless of the fact that this car here, taking the toasted uh, cannabis, was here way before these other two returned. So that's been sat there waiting for ages. And I dare say, if I'd left this car to still take toasted, it would get this stored toasted box here and deny this car that box. So I've rearranged that slightly on here. So the only car taking toasted now is this one which is going to complete this final order for Luke for toasted uh, toasted cannabis he's going to take eight but I need to supply him to get that three grand out of him because he's already got eight boxes of cloudy mess and if I don't supply him with the toasted cannabis I won't get any of that money yeah I need to complete the whole order before I get paid so that's what we're doing. I'm rearranging this and I will probably actually take a car away from here. Now where's that contaminated toasted cannabis going? Oh, where is it? Where, where are you going with that? Up. Oh, did you come out of that door for some reason? I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I wasn't watching where that guy was going. Yeah, there's all sorts of things that can, re can be improved in the delivery set up here. So what I'm going to do is in this episode I want to open the chicken shop which will be our third and final legitimate business we can do at this stage of the game's uh, release and we'll get that done today. So I'm going to fast forward this a little bit until we get all these cars away and uh, I can sort out my deliveries and move on to creating my third legitimate outlet. I'll be back with you on the other side of a sexy video effect. Here we are a few hours later and uh, everyone appears to be doing quite well. 
our two shops. Um, they're getting supplies, but again, obviously the laundromat is a little bit undersupplied. We'll come back. I need to talk a little bit more about the donut shop as well, but I'll do that in a second. We've now completed uh, whatever that Luke's order. I think it was Luke, wasn't it, for the toasted cannabis. So I don't need this vehicle anymore, to be honest. And um, we'll just have these. Mm, or do I? Uh, well, if I open the, the chicken shop, am I going to need a third car for that? I might do, actually. So maybe I won't sell that car after all, but what I will do is say you're accepting nothing for the time being. And we'll leave it at that. Now, before we actually turn the game back on and start running it, I just want to make a quick couple of comments about the donut shop, which I discovered after the recording. <laughs> so I, I, I mentioned at the beginning of this episode uh, about making my staff more specific, their job tasks more specific. I had uh, all my members of the kitchen staff here were producing all the different types of donut. So everyone was was cooking, was frying, grilling, whatever it is, or sprinkling, whatever it is you do to a donut to make it a donut. Uh, so they were producing donuts by the bucket load, way more than I could store or indeed sell. I imagine some of these have been here for quite some time. So what I've done is I have, I've probably employed a couple more uh, kitchen staff, but I've now made them more task specific. So that in terms of the glazed and sprinkled donuts, I have a couple of members of staff doing those. In terms of the plain and chocolate donut, again, I've got a couple of staff doing those. This is preparing these and other people doing the cash desk thing like all these people here. In fact, I'm just wondering, could Isabel do the cash desk as well? We have got a lot of customers lining up here. So actually, what schedules have we got now? Anna, Isabella is on a new schedule four. Let's just check what four looks like. Yeah, you're not here during the day. So I've, I've added Isabella in just to make sure that my delivery vehicles, my own cars, whoop, like that one there, will get unloaded out of hours. I mean, during the daytime, we've got members of staff in here already who take care of that. Well, I've got one person on each shift doing the storage thing. That might be all right, actually, but I mean, if we look at this, we are getting, no, we are getting through them reasonably well. I think. Yeah. And why? Uh, presumably you're on a break. Uh, no, you're, you're not on a break. Your sh the shelves are full. See, people are coming in here and buying donuts. Quite a few people, actually. I've got, well, I've got five people, six people in here. That's quite good. Has our um, stats gone up at all? It says seven. Maybe that's seven at a time. I don't know how half these numbers mean, to be honest. But yeah, we haven't got enough storage space here. And unfortunately, the way the game works at the moment is this car will sit here with its load until time freezes over. Does time do that? I think it's the oceans freeze over, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> until the end of time. Anyway, there's there's no sort of time out on this saying, look, go back and go so or go somewhere else. Because it could, because that car, uh, which is probably that. No, it's not that one. It is that one. Yeah, there you are. Can, you can just, you probably can't see it, but it is there. It's behind the, the donut shop there. It's going to be sat there, whereas it could go to an alternate location if it, if it was waiting here for too long. But the delivery system isn't quite that sophisticated as yet. So what I could do is buy another blinking storage shelf. Uh, okay, then we'll buy storage in there. Right. Did someone just belch? How rude. But now they can now he can go away. Lovely. Uh, we're still supplying cloudy meth. We'll reject that one. To a whole variety of people. Uh, where's my cloudy meth? That's you. You're going to Ariana. Ooh, getting through them quite quickly. The cloudy meth production is quite efficient. Anyway. What I want to do 
is see if we can create for ourselves a chicken shack. See the difference <laughs> in supply with the drugs? I don't understand it. Uh, right, so yes, so we're going to need a business license. So we're going to buy one of these and that will you see loads of equipment. Oh, it, don't, it only shows you that when you start. Mm, probably lots of expensive equipment and expensive stuff. That's going to cost me nine grand. Let's spend that. We're going to need somewhere to sell chicken bits to. So, you're a big place for seven. Uh, you, you're a small... Okay, you're a slightly different shape for seven. Five. Can we, should we start small? I like to start small. Yeah, we'll do that. So we will purchase this place. And it will be, oops, a type of, oh, and you see this only takes cloudy meth as opposed to the cannabises. Okay, which means then we won't need the hotline orders for the cloudy meth. Okay, cool. So this is now a chicken shop. I suppose we ought to build it and I'm going to... Mm, I don't know where the store, where the car's going to pull in. If we go to the main map, it's there. So the car might come up here on the lot on the long side. I don't know. I do wish you had slightly more idea of where they're going to park up to deliver. So it could park up here. I'm going to assume it will do that because that's closer to my factory which is there yeah well it's not too far away at all is it actually so let's get building shall we we're going to need here a kitchen and a dining room as before with the donut shop so let's pretend that the dining area is going to be out the front here along here. That's all the facilities, so let's have a look at what we want in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, Struth. Okay, we've got oh chips and chicken pieces. Oh, okay. Maybe the kitchen, I, well, the kitchen might need to be bigger. If we're gonna have nuggets and burgers, more more equipment. Oh heck. Right. And that is. That's a food chute. That's where they store it. So, for, let's make some chips. So, you can be along there. You are a chopping station for the chopping of potatoes. You can be a small fryer. And then, or a food chute. And you can be there close to the door. Okay, so for chicken pieces, 
Oh, it's the same equipment. Okay, we'll have a separate shoot, I think. One for the chips and one for... And I'm not going to say fries, because fries are an abomination. Yeah, so we're definitely not selling those. We're selling proper chips. Uh, so we need we okay so we need a hen coop <laughs> so we're keeping our chickens actually inside the shop okay right uh, so you, yeah not entirely realistic uh, actually we'll, we'll have a separate production for each of them so far and that's all we need there isn't it okay and I'll put the soda, the drinks uh, machine, out in the dining room behind the counter. That should be fine. So in the dining area, we are going to want uh, a counter. Now you need to be round that way, I think, don't you? Yeah. And yeah. And a corner piece going there. We'll need... One of you with a flap, flappity flap, and you can go there. And we'll have a till there and a till there. We're going to want a soda machine. No, you can't go there because the flaps that you can't go there. You'll have to go. Okay. Hmm. We'll put you there. That's good. So that's that. And we're going to need some dining tables and some bins. Okay, so we've got four seater ones. Yeah, everything is too big again. But there you go. Right. And you can be sat there. And there. And a couple of little ones can be sat along here. And along there. Mm. Okay, and a bin. We'll put two bins in here, like I think we did in the in the donut shop. Oh, we can have them. You can't. You can't place you there. I'll put you there and move that tape. Whoops, not there. Just up a little bit, so you can go there. That's good. Okay, and uh, we could do with some windows. Put some windows in here to make it lovely, bright and breezy. Oop, there you go. Uh, okay, and let's get the walls up. Are you in the right place? More or less. And some more red windows. There. And there. Oh, and we'll have a little one there as well cool so that's the the way the site looks we need to employ some staff we can employ 15 people can we good uh, we've got 45 and a half thousand left in the bank so we'll take workers one two three four and the shop hours are eight till nine okay so what's our schedules look like what I think I'll do is, as I did with the donut shop, I'll just have a single member of staff come in for out-of-hours operation, I think. So my normal schedules will be during office hours. So you can be at home, you can be at home, you can come in, actually you'll come in at seven perhaps. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then a break. Right, so I will fill these schedules up and I'll come back to you in but the blinkest, briefest blink of a sexy video effect. Well, we've, I've set it up. Time will tell if it works or not. <laughs> so we've got two shifts uh, running, sort of alternating, taking their breaks. So four hours on and an hour off during the working day. And I've got a schedule two, which is basically working out of business hours. Oh, they, they can uh, have a break there. 
Uh, again, the thing is, they don't get paid when they're at home. So you can cut your costs by, uh, by keeping people working only when you need them. Uh, so for their tasks, uh, we've got... Uh, we're splitting them up between the chicken nuggets and the chips. So we've got one person doing chips uh, on each schedule, apart from schedule two. Uh, likewise with chicken nuggets. And they can all do the cash task, um, but not everyone does the supply. Again, I'll, we'll see how that works out. I may need to employ another member or, or two. The cleaner is coming in on schedule one, so they come in a little bit late. Let's stay a little bit later. Um, but that's about it. Again, we may need a second cleaner and the engineer again Just one engineer coming in on the default zero schedule. I will see how that pans out but If we take the schedules away Let's look at our staff What equipment do we have for them? We have the cleaning booties. Yep uh, in their hands They probably don't know. I don't think any of this stuff need, is needed now here we do have some equipment already. A chicken costume, which is fun. A chef's outfit. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this when, when we were at the donut shop. I have given some of them outfits because that improves their appliance speed. Just like in the factory, they can wear this gardener's outfit to make their their speed at producing cannabis or, you, or using any of the appliances that bit faster. So we can do that here for the chefs and the hats they can get a chef's hat I won't do that just yet no we'll see because we're not going to get that many customers in to be honest uh, so that's Christian Aiden uh, oh hang on who was I I was, I was on Aiden oh, okay I'm a bit random with my clicking obviously so you can have the clean booties and the chef's outfit uh, Gavin, yeah, pay attention to the name up here and then, then you can sort of see who you're dealing with if your clicking is as random as mine is. Uh, Ella, yeah, you're a chef, so you can have all that. There you go. Oh, didn't give you the booties. There you are. And Adrian is an out of hours, so we'll just have the booties. Uh, don't need the chef's outfit because you're not doing any cooking. You, I could give you a fun outfit, a fun chicken costume. Oh, why not? <laughs> and the engineer, you can have the clean booties. Now, I've heard in the forums that fryers have a tendency to break down and burst into flames. Now, there is a fire resistant outfit, which I think I need to unlock that's not one of these. I don't think Vest Armour is quite the same thing. But we will see. And the cleaner. Yeah, you can have the, the cleaning booties as well. And while we're talking of unlocking things. Local businesses. This is probably the university. There it is. Outfits. Ah, 90% fire resistance. Okay, so if I buy that. Now, I've not seen, in all the days I've been running the donut shop, I've not seen the fryers burst into flames there. And all the staff are in place. Uh, so, the engineer, uh, I will give you the fire outfit. How much is that? Oh, I clicked it before it <laughs> before reading it. Okay, we'll go to the donut shop then. Uh, engineers. Uh, there you are. And the fire outfit is 650 Wow, the hazmat suit is much more expensive, but then that's for meth. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll buy that for you as well. Actually, what I need to do is all these cars will go to, yep, yeah, those two shops. This car actually will only take cloudy meth and will go to the Washington Avenue Chicken Shack. And you can carry on delivering orders. What I might do is turn off the hotline for cloudy meth. I've also got these orders sorted out. Or if I have an issue with supplying my chicken shack, we might take a, take that car off. Oh, now one thing I can do. Actually, let's turn this back on. 
uh, I can make that shoot just for chips and this shoot just for chicken. There you go. Yeah, you could make better quality chips by having a humidifier in there. Ooh, now if I make this warmer, I'll get better quality chicken out of it. The other bits of equipment don't appear to be an issue. Okay, let's try that. Oh, you are you're frying already, gosh. <laughs> My goodness. Got underway quite quickly. Can I... Chopping, yeah, just chicken. Uh, can I define, yes, just the chicken there. And these, you're just frying the chips and you're just chopping the chips. Right, so what we'll do is if we go into build mode and we'll move that fryer up a little bit, that can go up a little bit. And can we put a heater in here? A little small one in here, like so. And oh, it needs to be more, does it? Oh. So if we turn the overlay on for heat. If I if I move that to the aha, that's better. Yes, so we've now got excellent quality chicken coming out of the chicken coop by having the heater in that position. Good. Good. Now, of course, that does cost me money to run. So the question is, is it profitable? Is anyone going to actually make chicken? Um, hmm. Be nice if someone did. Okay, what if I make my workers chicken and chips? Uh, so, workers, tasks. Oh, hang on, uh, hang on. It's nuggets we're making, not chicken pieces. Isn't it? That's... Okay. No, it's chick. No. Oh, uh, yeah, I ticked the wrong thing in there, didn't I? You great plonker. Yeah, chick. Uh, it's the it's the it's the wrong way round. You see, that's the that's what's confused the heck out of me. Good. Right, someone is picking up chicken and chopping it into bloody pieces. Oh dear. <laughs> And frying. Ah. You've got to pay attention. That's the trick. Pay attention. Let's go to the factory. See what they're up to. Oh, right. We're going to be getting our... Oh, I need to open the shop, don't I? It's <sighs> truth. <laughs> oh, dear. Open. There you are. Right, we should be getting our delivery of cloudy meth sometime soon. I wonder if we have got some so a shop menu. Uh, and of course he stops there. It's entirely the wrong place. If I put a shop menu there, just for the sake of argument. And he's got to walk all the way through the shop to store it. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I'm not going to rearrange it. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we have sold... Nothing. <laughs> We've got a customer there. What do you want? Or are you leaving? Oh, we have got a customer. So he's bought... No, he's just... he did buy something. I haven't, I haven't been watching the customers. But maybe it's a bit like the donut shop. And you need to have more than the basic product for customers to come to come in and actually order. So let's upgrade our license level two. Ten grand. I can afford that. A large blender, chicken. Oh my goodness! A fast. Wow. 
Okay. So what do we have here then in the chicken shop? In the kitchen. Uh, I've got a new fryer. We'll put that on in a minute. But for making chicken nuggets we need apparently a blender. Okay, is that the only thing we need for this? Okay. Yeah, if I put these back like so. And then we can buy a blender. That's quite cheap. Put you in there. Good. Oh, I need to tell my staff to do nuggets as well. So you can do nuggets and you can do nuggets. That's lovely. Oh, and I need to shoot to store nuggets on, won't I, as well? <laughs> oh dear. Right, yes. Keep that's it. So put you there. That there you are. And you can be the nuggets. What was going on? Oh, it was blending. Right. <laughs> I wonder what that drilling noise was. Now we know. Oh, someone's come in to buy some cloudy meth. 845 for one box. I don't think we need the hotline anymore. Uh Okay, so you can finish off Ariana Scott's order. Yeah, and I'll abandon the other two. So Caleb, or three, Caleb. Where's Lillian? No. And poor old Amelia. No, and that's it. Okay, I think it's just three customers. If we employ another cleaner and get a two star rating, we'll get more customers in, which should make us more profitable. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, do that. Let's get another cleaner in. We'll employ you. And give you the booties. I don't suppose... Are you working all hours now? Yes! So we've got two... In fact, you can see that up there. Two stars. Excellent. You... <laughs> Okay, we're not actually supplying any cannabis to this shop because you don't think you can sell it, can you, in the chicken shack? So it says, ah, it says preferred. Now, does that mean they will buy other stuff? Interesting question. What we might do then, yeah, because. That we have a, there's an issue and it's, it's just being discussed on the Steam and Discord server uh, about the donut shop in particular. I think is I, I need to go here. Um, is that uh, all products available to get the fourth star? As far as I'm aware, I am supplying all the uh, donut types and all the preferred types of cannabis of drugs. But maybe all products does include cloudy meth. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. On these tills. Talk to me. Okay, let's say you can sell on that one as well. There you are. Cloudy meth. Let's see what happens. Perhaps I will supply all the produce that I am producing in my factory to all my outlets. Especially for the laundromat, I am selling all products, and that is only taking cannabis. See, that's that's the preferred. Okay, well, I'll we'll do one shipment, I think, of cannabis to to the chicken shack, and see if that works at all. Okay, so what have we got? We've got you. Actually, now we'll take, we'll put you on that list as well, and take you and you away. Can I tell, uh, you're, you're probably already there, aren't you, being unloaded. Yeah, I can't. Oh, you're in, aha, okay, we'll, we'll send you out to the chicken shack. So you, not that one, but you can go there as well. You can go there, but not to those two places. 
Oh, no, I've clicked the wrong thing again. You. You and you. It will be very precise sometimes in your mouse clicking. Uh, not you, not you. That's it. Okay. So you'll be ready to set off in a moment or two. And we'll see what happens. So we are here and we're getting the cannabis delivered. So we'll see what happens. Again, I'll just fast forward to, to this uh, to opening time. So on the other side of this next sexy video effect, we shall see if anybody actually wants to buy cannabis from our little chicken shack here. The customers just ordered some chips. Okay, that's fine. We do have some other lovely um, under-the-counter goodies, which I'm sure you'd love to purchase. More chips. They love, they're love. loving the chips. Oh, chicken pieces. And he wanted a burger. Sorry, mate. No. Excellent. Why are they just buying chicken stuff? <laughs> oh, one thing. I don't know if you noticed. That guy who just left, having deposited his... Uh... Oh, buying some lovely math. Good. Um... When they leave, if they're happy, they will actually leave you a little tip. So that guy left, I think, a four-dollar tip, which is very nice. We'll get you through the mess. Definitely. Oh, a two-dollar tip. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, and the pieces. That's uh, yeah. Actually, I can put in a big fryer now, can't I? I'll do that in a second. That's why I've got no chicken nuggets because I didn't. Define the fryer to do chicken nuggets. Oh. I think I can probably get rid of that fourth car. Yeah, we don't need it at the moment. I think we're okay. And that would save me a bit of money too by doing that. So that's you, isn't it? Can I. Oh, you can't sell these, unfortunately. Yeah, let's... Oh, I can sell it. There you are. That's good. And in fact, what we'll do here as well is I can now move that door again so it's closer <laughs> to, to the actual garages. And I'll extend that corridor again to protect my operation. Like so. Lovely. Just in case the, the mayor or the major feels like coming back and attacking attacking me here. Oh, but nobody's bought any chicken pieces, I think, which is why that fryer's not... Oh, right. Thank you. I was wondering why that fryer hadn't been cleared. So, okay, so we'll sell you. And we will put in a double fryer in there. And that double fryer will do the pieces and the nuggets. And we're back up to $48,500. Which makes me think we might be profitable in here. So, in fact, yesterday, our first day of operation, we made over 1200 That's excellent. No burger. I'm going to need the, the next license up, aren't I? So how much is the next license up? Eleven. Done it. Okay. Which means, uh, in the kitchen... There we go. We are going to need... Oh, we can get a fast double fryer. So for burger... Oh, we need more bits. We need a, a chicken press, as opposed to a blender. And a grill. And what we'll have in here then, I think, could put it up on this wall here, couldn't we? We could do that. So we'll take you there. I am not entirely convinced about that. Okay. And then the grill can go there. 
stop. We can go there. Quite sure why it's counting down. And we'll change. Whoops! No, come out build mode. Change that to do burgers as well. Yeah, burgers are grilled, not fried. What? What? Oh, a bit of a disaster, I think. Um, <laughs> um okay, where, where's, where's the engineer? Oh, no, <laughs> there's nobody in the shop now. It's out of hours. Uh, I think I should employ an engine. Yeah, an engineer. There you are. And you can be on is it, whoops. Is it schedule two? We're twenty three hundred hours, yet yeah, you'll come in, that's good. And we'll give you the fire resistant outfit and the clean booties. Now he's put, and I'm going to have to get staff in a minute, aren't I? <laughs> no! Right. Do you know what? I'm going to end the episode at this point, I think. <laughs> the whole place is going up in flames. I've got dead staff in the kitchen. And um, they'll have to come back and see how I get out of this. So, yes. I'll pause it there before too much of it runs away. I think, I think we're, uh, we're done. We're done. Dear me. Who, uh, uh, I, there was me reading that it was the fryer was the problem and it clearly isn't. It's the grill. But why, I don't understand why it, no. I'm going to have to investigate that. <laughs> so, and hopefully you'll come back for the next episode of Definitely Not Fried Chicken to see if I've managed to escape from this little bit of a disaster. Ah, oh dear. I'll close the shop, actually, while we're here. So we'll close it. There you go. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Definitely Not Fried Chicken. If you've enjoyed this, <laughs> it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better, you've got anything to say, uh, particularly any helpful tips about running a successful chicken shack would be great. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And if I have anything you feel like saying about what I'm doing or the game itself, yeah, you know, just, just drop it into the comments. That would be fabulous. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And then you'll be notified when the next exciting installment of Definitely Not Fried Chicken lands, or indeed any other episode of any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Definitely Not Fried Chicken, until the next time, bye bye for now.